Welcome to Gel Printing July. Today I'm going to play with alcohol inks and I'm really excited about that <laughs> because I love alcohol inks. Um, let me get the colors that I want to use today. So these are the colors that I want to use today. This is called Stream. It's a beautiful blue color. This is called Pitch Black. Yes, black. <laughs> And this is Brass uh, from Piñata. These two are by Ranger. Well, those are the brands. And I'll, I'll list all the supplies that I use in the description box. Now, alcohol inks are beautiful. I have worked with uh, alcohol inks quite a bit, but on paper, directly on paper, never on the gel plate. But I know that it can be uh, done, so I'm really curious to find it out. So just... Uh, a few uh, basic things about alcohol inks. I'm not going very deep into it now. But what is good to know is that alcohol inks dry very quickly because they evaporate as, uh, as soon as the alcohol evaporates, they're dry. Um, but even when they're dry, they can be reactivated again with uh, regular alcohol. So here I have some 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol in a little bottle and also in a spray bottle because uh, that also can create really fun uh, texture. You can also use 91% that, that works too. And uh, so you can use alcohol to move your inks around. And what is beautiful about alcohol inks is that they have a beautiful transparency usually to them. And with the alcohol, they can flow very beautifully and you can create really nice textures and so on. So, um, yeah, if you're interested in uh, alcohol inks, do uh, go into that rabbit hole. <laughs> Because, yeah, I, I really love it. Okay, so we're working with alcohol in a high percentage. And that means that uh, you m must make sure that your working area is well ventilated. I have my uh, window open here. That's important. So, as I said, I have never used this, these inks on, uh, on the gel plate. But I, have, uh, I know that, um, that it uh, can work. So, I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm going to wear gloves before I forget. <laughs> I'm going to wear gloves because, well, you can clean your fingers using alcohol or hand sanitizer or something with alcohol, but it does stain a little bit. So it does take some effort to clean your hands. And today I don't feel like having to do that. So even though normally I don't like working with gloves, I am going to do that today. Um, do I need to say anything else? I think I'm just uh, going to play a little bit um, with the inks and with what I know from uh, my experience with uh, working um, with alcohol inks on paper. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see what happens. So what I like to do is kind of add a base layer of alcohol and I want this blue color to be I think the main color I will see I don't know yet so it's already starting to dry but you can just um, keep adding alcohol so that you can keep moving the inks I like to use uh, this tool. This is just uh, a tool that you can use to blow. Uh, some people use a straw but I, or a hair dryer. I prefer this. But there are many ways that you can do it. I am not uh, a prof professional <laughs> alcohol ink artist. But it's really cool what you can create. Look at, it does work. Oh, I'm just starting, but look, it does work on the gel plate. At least it is moving, right? So it starts to dry already a little bit, but I'm just, I just keep adding alcohol to spread it around. I want it to be kind of 
everywhere on the plate and then I want to see um, I want to work with a stencil also so yeah this this is a little bit of experimenting for me because I don't know exactly how this will work with the stencil on the plate but this is so much fun to do <laughs> it is so playful it's it's uh, yeah it's hard to control exactly the flow of these inks but that I think is is also the fun of it So let me also add a few drips of this brass. Let's just start with very little two drops. And I love the effect of the metallics because they they react a bit different than the regular alcohol inks. As you can see, they, they clump a little bit. And I really love that look. But <laughs> I'm really curious to see how this will show up on, uh, on the final print. So I'm just moving this around. I don't know if I should make it really dark, my color, because I do plan to add a bit more in the next step. I don't know what, what gives the best result. And yeah, the paper that I prefer to use if I use alcohol inks on paper is Yupo paper. That's... Uh, kind of a plastic paper and that works great with alcohol ink. Look at this. But I don't know how this looks from the other side, which will the, the, the bottom side of course will be the front side of of our print. And that is different from when you use alcohol inks on, on paper because then you are just working on the surface. Now we are working from the back side <laughs> and we are going to flip the, the gel plate when we are going to take the print. Okay, I think this is great. Now I have added quite a bit of alcohol, so I can also use my heat gun. This is not so hot that it is doing any damage or anything, but just make sure that you can also use a hairdryer on the cool setting. Okay, now this is almost dry, I think. Let's see how it looks from the other side. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. Really beautiful. So now I want to try if I can add a texture with my spray bottle. Normally I know I can, but I, as I said, I haven't used this on the gel plate. Uh, so I'm going to spritz, but I'm also going to dry it right away. Yeah, so you can get really fu fun texture like that. Okay, so now I want to see if I can add a pattern of a stencil in this. And um, yeah, I'm just going to try. So I'm going to use my own stencil. I made this one myself. And I'm just trying to adhere it to the gel plate. I can also I can use a brayer. It may not stick everywhere, but well, we'll see how it goes, right? 
So what I now want to do is add more alcohol because then normally the inks are being reactivated again. So maybe also I'm going to add some more alcohol ink as well. And then what I hope, well, let's just go and see what happens. So I'm adding actually quite a lot. And yeah, I, I could add some more inks. And I know that you can also use a brayer now. I'm just wondering if I now made it so very dark. So it is spreading here a little bit. Um, I should have laid down some paper here to protect my work surface, but I'm going to clean it with alcohol afterwards. So, But it's easier if you just <laughs> use some paper to pr protect your area it is not here where the where the brass is it's not really activating as much yeah the the um the metallics uh can yeah create different effects or can react a bit differently but then again i'm not sure exactly with the gel plate maybe i should have talked less and worked faster. <laughs> but what I hope what will happen is that I can create a little bit of the pattern of my stencil now. So I'm going to use my heat gun to try this a little bit. And I'm really not sure if I managed. So perhaps let me just add a bit more alcohol ink. Because what I'm looking for is if I see some kind of, yeah, a bit of a lines around the stencil shape or the openings. It looks like I'm also using a lot of <laughs> ink right now. More than I thought I would need. So I don't know if I'm doing it correctly or... If I'm just making a big mess, which could well be the case. Well, at least here I am making a big mess. Uh, I don't want it to be too dark though. I'll just wait for this to dry a bit more. And in the meantime, I'm going to clean this up and then uh, I'll come back and we'll see what shows up. <laughs> yeah so obviously wait for with your cleaning <laughs> until you're done using this little tool but it kind of yeah creates an interesting look so it is a bit it moves it a bit differently than uh, than the heat gun does Let me spritz a bit of the alcohol. Okay, I'm going to clean this up again. <laughs> and then I'll come back. Okay, well, let's have a look. I'm really curious to see. I could also first check it from this side, what I can see. It looks really cool what I see. I'm, I'm not sure if you can see that, but uh, what I did with the spray bottle gives such a gorgeous texture. So let's just have a look. And the fun thing is, is that if 
what I see now when I remove the stencil. If I don't like that, I can always just add more alcohol, get everything moving again and just start over. So that's, that's really fun of uh, alcohol inks. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I'm really loving this. Yeah, you can really see the fluidity of uh, of yeah, how alcohol inks works because it's still wet here uh, where my stencil was. So beneath the stencil, the alcohol inks didn't dry yet. Um, but I love that watery look from the from the alcohol inks and. You can also see from this side, at least, I don't know when I pull the print, but from this side, you can see all those, those gorgeous little, um, yeah, shapes that are created by the, um, um spray bottle with what, with the alcohol. Okay. So I'm going to make sure that this is dry. And then I think I'm just going to pull this uh, print. Let's see if this is dry now. I think it is. Yeah, it should be because it really dries very quickly. So I, I didn't get a very crisp image of my stencil, which could well be because uh, this I am new to using uh, alcohol inks on the gel plate, or maybe you, you cannot get a crisp image at all. But I really love that actually, because um, yeah, it is that that flowy look that I uh, think looks really great. Okay, so I'm going to clean this a little bit more because uh, uh, when I uh, transfer this to my uh, watercolor paper, I don't want to get any alcohol inks on my watercolor paper. So I'm going to make sure that my board is clean and uh, then uh, we can get everything ready to transfer this to uh, to the watercolor paper. And I'm just using the same technique as uh, for the other videos of this series of Gel Printing July. So I'm just using white paint. Okay, so I'm going to let this paint dry, clean my hands. <laughs> and uh, yeah, when it's dry, I'll come back to pull the print. Okay, so I think this is dry. I hope it is. <laughs> so let's take a look. I'm really excited about this. Uh, I'm really excited to see how the alcohol inks are now uh, showing up. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is amazing. This is amazing. The, <laughs> the alcohol inks, they work really great on, uh, on the gel plate. It works fabulously. It looks like a kind of a galaxy or something like that. I thought it would be like like um, a, a wave with this uh, swirl of, the, of my stencil, but... Uh, yeah, with this um, brass ink, uh, it, it really, yeah, to me, it reminds me of a galaxy or something like that. And all the all those little dots uh, that are created by the, by the spray bottle with alcohol. That's so gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. This combination of the fluidity of working with alcohol inks. Um, but then you can still see the, the pattern of the, of the stencil as well. But it's just much more fluid and, and moving. 
and uh, yeah, it creates so much interest. Oh, I'm so happy with this. So this is also definitely something that uh, I will uh, work more with, with alcohol inks on the gel plate. It's really fun and I hope you will try it out as well. It's, it's uh, yeah, definitely that surprise effect that already is there with the gel plate now with alcohol inks even more. <laughs> So that's it for today. I really hope you liked uh, today's video. If you did, please uh, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, also, I've made um, a video series called Gel Printing Fundamentals, which goes in depth into a lot of topics that are important to know for gel printing. I've made that for my uh, patrons. So if you're interested, I will put a link in the description. So thank you so much for watching and I'll be back tomorrow with a new video.